it's dark, it's early. Oh, yeah, it's boot sale time for reselling. And yeah, first proper boot sale. I know I done one last week, but that was a new, like, type one on hard ground. So it's only small, but this is my first proper one. This is what I rely most of my cool, unique stuff on. So yeah, really excited, even though it's really early. You might be able to tell with my voice in the eyes, but yeah. I'll wake up as we go along. I was just thinking, and obviously the last time I've done a proper boot sale video was probably September, October time. And since then I've had like, what, one, two thousand more subscribers. I'm pig in muck at boot sales, I love it. Same as the charity shop championship type thing. Strap you into my GoPro chest mount on my backpack. Uh, have a look, a bit of engagement with the punters. And yeah, see what I've got at the end. So yeah, see you in there. How much are these ones? Those ones, three yeah. pound. If you get them with these, I'll meet you at fiber. Yeah. Bag included as well. Nice. <laughs> How much is one? Those ones, three pound. If you go for those and those, I'll meet you at fiber. Yeah. If you don't want them, I'll grab both of them. No worries. <laughs> Which ones do you want to do? I'll get both of them for a fiver, yeah? No worries. Right. Yeah. All right. These. Where's the other one? Yeah. Oh, you oh, got them? Yeah. Cool. You've got them in hand. Yeah. Whew. What a day for a week though. At least the weather's holding up. Yeah. Would you like another bag for those ones? That's why I got a bag, so oh, right, yeah. Cool, no, I'm right. prepared, yeah. Four pounds. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Say that again. Five. Right. Thank wait, you. Thank 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 you. Seen them in that box, sorry? Not unless you've seen it in that box. Hundred quid, I'm Hundred? Oh, wow. Uh, oh, nice. Uh, yeah. There you go. Thank you.
Did you say a fiver for that lamp actually? I thought I had five of yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that as well, yeah. Made for the I, shade. I need a top, yeah. I need a top one. Okay. Yeah, right seven, yeah. Slim pickings today, looks like. But yeah, yeah, lovely. lovely. Back at the unit, boot sale one of two today, complete, um, really tiny. I thought it was going to be a bit bigger, even with the coronavirus scare and everything. Uh, I checked their Facebook page and it looked like more people were going to come than not. But yeah, there's like two and a half rows, which is pathetic really. But I've actually picked up more than I thought I would. Normally I'd pick up nothing, or maybe one, two things. Picked up a few things, I've regretted one of them at least anyway, but um, yeah. Flip the camera around, show you what I got, what I paid, what I'm hoping to get for it. Start with my favourite item. This really nice vintage Hitachi solid state TV in a nice red colour, like racing red. I recognise the guy I bought it from, he's like a dealer, he deals at the boot sales, he buys in and around like sort of tip shops, like the tip shop I go to every now and then, he's there I think probably every day or every week. He's probably got that from there. He wanted 20, he got it for 15, which is a good price from a dealer for this sort of item. If all working, like turns on, makes the volume go up and down, like nothing will come out on the picture. But as long as it turns on and it's working, this should be a nice 50 pound, I reckon. I've sold these before. And yeah, it's just even props, like theatres, TV sets. Uh, they'll want this sort of thing for their sort of 70s, 80s type uh, theatre or film, programme, whatever they're making. In fact, we can test it right now, just remembered. The benefits of having a unit with electricity now. So this could blow up. Alright, we're good so far, here we go. So, sounds good. Oh, here we go. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. There we go. Tested and working. Nice. 15 pounds. It's hopefully 40 to 50 pounds. Happy days. Move on to this one. Uh, this is a personal Wi-Fi box like I use myself in the unit. Where's my one? Yeah, here's my one. You basically put a SIM card in it. Obviously you pay for the data every month like a phone. Put it in and you get personal Wi-Fi. I did slate my box uh, in a previous live because it cut out, but that wasn't actually the box's fault. That was the provider's fault. Uh, that was with Plusnet, if you are wondering. And I'm now with um, Smarty. Unlimited data for 20 quid. And it's worked perfectly since. This is basically one of them. Obviously by EE. 4G Wi-Fi, yeah, three pound a paid. Uh, looked it up, and this should be a nice 20, 25 pound. Obviously I checked at the time. It's all in there. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Literally just a little mini box. Uh, yeah, you whack a SIM card in it. Uh, there's the charger and everything. And yeah, you don't have internet wherever you go, like on the train, in the storage unit, <laughs> flipping tap. Yeah, uh, three pound to 20, 25. Cracking little score there. Nice surprise, I haven't actually picked up to retail before. So, something else to add to my list. Yeah, box standard vintage Cluedo. Four pounds for this. Um, yeah, nice condition box. Uh, I've got loads of spare pieces. So I didn't even need to check it when I was there. Sounds like there's lots, lots of bits in, but even if there's a bit or two missing, I can easily replace it. This is going to Amazon, 20, 25 pounds, even at Christmas, hopefully 30. But yeah, standard bread and butter item there. Right, we'll come around to the shoes. Got these two for a fiver. He said three pounds for one, or if you have them both, a fiver. And there's a couple of people lingering around the Jordans. But yeah, luckily everyone left them. But there is a reason why they left them for only two pound fifty for both pairs. Uh, I don't know what this guy has done, but the bottoms seem to be knackered. <laughs> 
especially on this one here we go bits have come away and there's even like i don't know if that goes into the shoe if you tried in the puddle so not the best condition and then with this one as well like lots of wear and then here is actually worn away so not good condition at all but for two pound fifty if these were in good condition you're looking at over 50 pounds sort of 60 to 80 if these were a good condition they're both size 10 which is a good size even knackered i've sold knackered shoes before uh, if you've got the right name and they're expensive shoe even pre-owned then even when they're a bit knackered you can still get money obviously each shoe owes me two pound fifty these obviously advertise what the condition is and if someone wants a cheap pair of these i see they still look fine once i've cleaned them all up it's just the bottoms so what I'm going to try 20, if I get above 15 from £2.50 that's fine with me, especially at slim pickings at a boot sale. And with these again, these are a bit better than the Jordans, but yeah, Air Force Ones. Just a shame they're not in better condition really, because these would be sort of £40, £45, but uh, with this big wear here, again, might try at 25 hopefully get 20 15 to 20 from £2.50. Well, they're not amazing, but when you're up at that early, that time, you need to recoup some costs, and that should do that. Yeah, just a shame about condition on them. The knees I've had to pay up for a little bit, but again, slim pickings. If there's profit to be made, I was picking it up. Midsummer Murders, official collection on DVD. Two sets. I think we've got one to 25 in here, and then 26 to 52 in this one. I pay £10 each. It wasn't really moving at 20. Uh, again, he looked like a house clearance dealer type guy, so I guess he's got to make a profit. But uh, looking up on eBay, people have got up to £65 for these. So from 20, nice and square, so not a painter package. I've got loads of big boxes anyway. If I can get, yeah, 50 to 60 from 20, a nice square box, uh, yeah, I'll be happy with that one. Obviously, I just got to go through. In fact, that one's sealed if these are all sealed then hang on a second <laughs> okay well they're all sealed so new and sealed i was pricing these as pre-owned because i don't know if it came out on the camera but uh the guy was saying about people getting 100 pounds for these or something oh there you go this one's not sealed number one so i'm guessing someone started the collection and got as far as oh there you go season one Season two sealed. Uh, yeah, the only one that's open out of the 52 or so is number one. So I don't know if I could get number one, buy it in sealed from eBay or Amazon, and then I can sell these new, which would then bump up the price to, what, 80 to 100, I'm guessing. I don't know if I will get that, but no harm in trying. There's a Brucey bonus there. I thought these were pre-owned. I didn't really take a proper look. They're all sealed apart from the first season or first episode, whatever it is. So if I can get that sealed online, awesome. Sell these as new. And yeah, £20, hopefully £60 plus. Again, awesome score. And this is the regret buy. I said I wasn't buying furniture anymore, but it's the same guy as these. He said a fiver. And oh, in fact, actually I bought three things from him. The Cluedo, the DVDs and this lamp. This cost a fiver and I regret it because I said no more furniture but I bought it mainly for this nice vintage shade. I bought and sold vintage shades quite a few times throughout the years especially when I first started when it was just vintage items. Yeah and people like a vintage shade. This is an unusual one, nice green sort of lacy and tassel type effect. There is a bit of uh, inconsistency or damage here we go here which I didn't notice but if I can Neaten that up a bit. It looks like I can fix that. That should be repairable actually, but even if it's not, as long as it looks nice from the front. Oops. Looks nice from the front. Authentic vintage, I'm guessing 60s, 70s maybe with this one. This on its own should be 30, 40 pound, I'm hoping. Bit of a painter package as it is quite fragile. It's a square box, pad it out, all that. So there's my money and gravy there. And then this is the slight regret. Again with the shoes, not in the best of conditions. I'm going to need a new top. The top's uh, been broken here. And then it's all old wiring and even an original plug here, which is cool. 
It's cool to have its original switch and everything, but it's not gonna be safe. Uh, I'm gonna have to rewire this, which won't be a problem. Just wire it, pull it through, and there we go. And then I just need a new top. So wrought iron base, obviously again, authentic vintage. You can tell from the wiring. I could try and sell this locally, hopefully on eBay. Uh, hopefully from looking at 35, 40 pound again, just for that one. So if I can do them small repairs, 60 pound plus for both sold separately. So I say regret, but not too bad. It's just a bit of fiddling about with this one, if I can be bothered. Overall first boot sale, a success. See you in the next boot sale. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh man. I think they just blew away from these. How much were these ones? Uh, three pounds. I'll get them, please. Okay. Does that go with them? Yeah, it yeah, does, yeah. Let's put them in the bag. Anyone want to pay Just going back here for something, Amy. Okay, take it with them. you feel bad not doing it, do you? <laughs> How much is the hostess? What's it? Five quid. It's it got one? It's all got, it's basically plug it in. It keeps it all warm, warm in there, yeah. Yeah. Five, yeah, I'll take that, that's all right. Yeah. Try to keep it to one side, I'll just whip around here. Yeah. There's your five. Cheers, thank you very much. It won't be long. Right. Yeah. Cheers. That one. Two pounds, Two pounds yeah. I don't want the pineapple. <laughs> Here we go, part two of the boot sale um, pickups, I guess. It's now Tuesday, so yeah, apologies for that. Picked up a couple of things, it's only tiny yet again. Uh, this virus really is kicking in, I think. Um, obviously, as of Tuesday, the first announcement about public gatherings being, or suggesting to not be on. So I've got to keep my eyes peeled on the boot sale Facebook pages. So even if they are on, it's like outdoors and everything, but even if they do go ahead, will people go and sell or buy? uh don't know so yeah tough times ahead but this is what i did get anyway from the second one I won't drag on too much about that only the three items uh which i'm still happy with got some cool bits as well uh we'll start with this one the biggest one nice vintage phillips hostess obviously these are normally like trolleys like big and massive so don't bother with them normally but yeah this is a nice tabletop one which i rarely see um here you go you basically turn it on there's a heating element inside and it just keeps your food warm basically like if you're normally with christmas these sell really well and um, obviously got like your cabbage your carrots whatever just keeping it warm while everything else is going on so i've got obviously metal lids and then there's the glass uh dishes inside all original uh and i did quickly check there's no chips or anything they're all there which is really good and this was a charity uh, stall. Um, I think they were raising money for cancer. Five pound they wanted. Snapped the hand off at that. That's a real bargain. 
Obviously it's going to be a pain in the bum to post, but I'm all about uh, sending out whatever I can, whatever's possible. Uh, so yeah, people have managed to get up to £40 collection only. No one has attempted to post it in the past 90 days on eBay. So I'll probably try, I don't know if I'll get it, but I'll probably try 80, maybe even 85 with the postage option. About 10, 12 pound postage. Yeah, and see how that goes. From a fiver though, can't be arguing with that. And I could even sell it locally as someone else has done. So yeah, really happy with that one. These are a cool little find as well. Um, perfect push up. Usually novelty exercise things like these, like the things you see on sort of shopping TV channels, they actually do quite well, uh, like a novelty thing. But to do a push up, they sort of twist and it helps work out a bit more. I'm not really sure. But uh, I think it was £3 I paid for these that came with like this guide, some sort of exercise routine. Don't know, I'll put it with it anyway. Uh, yeah, good condition, uh, £3 and a bit of a bolo really because these are going for up to £35, £40 almost um, pre-owned. Awesome pick up there, nice and small as well. Little box to send them in and happy days. Then move on to another one to look out for, uh, which looks nothing special really. Um, Rick and Barker, I think that says, uh, it's a, for the Wii, a uh, Nintendo Wii, like Guitar Hero. I think this is used for the Beatles version. This should come with a dongle, uh, which plugs into the Wii. So obviously it then transmit whatever you tap in onto the computer. But yeah, no dongle, but um, I can't remember what I've paid now. <laughs> it was a couple of days ago, two or three pound it was. As it is, um, people have been getting, again, nearly 40 pounds with no dongle someone got. £30, £25.30 if it's not sent in straight away. Really happy from £2 and yeah, free items. Got them cheap, sell them for strong money and can't really ask for any more than that really, can I? So we go, hopefully there'll be more boot sales this weekend or soon as we go through this situation, which is really odd. But yeah, I've got a few bits to keep me busy anyway. Uh, yeah, just got to see what happens and adapt. That's all we can do really. Survival of the fittest it's looking like. Make sure you follow the channel because I'm sure it'll make for good watching. See how I adapt, how I get through this. I'm a bit worried, but yeah, just got to adapt. That's all we can do really. So thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.